Hello, everyone, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Art with Kenneth. I'm artist Kenneth Lewis Sr., and again, welcome. Art with Kenneth is a podcast uh, that will show, will have art discussions as well as demonstrations, uh, me showing you some of the different processes and materials I use to create some of my artwork, some um, previously created series and some up and coming series, which is actually what you're going to see today. I haven't even decided what I'm going to name this series. I'm, you know, I've been like kind of torn. I, I wanted to name them People Make the World Go Round because they're, they got all these people in them that I'm creating. But uh, it's like all these other things are coming to my head. So I'm just going to leave that open. So I'm not sure what the actual name of the series will be at this point. But <laughs> it's funny that I say point because all of the images have these little pointy feet like this. These are two partially done pieces right now. And, um, uh, but you have to see how I start them. And I start them all different ways. And they're all different sizes from 48 by 48 down to 16 by 20. And um, this right here are some, a uh, couple of frames that was given to me. And um, the, uh, they have pictures on the inside. So uh, actually these were, they were green, these frames, just like this. So I'm actually going to use, I'm using the frames and I just painted over uh, the picture that was on there to create it. And there's, there's a lot of materials that go into these pieces. Um, there's collage work in it. And again, those are partially done, but you got to see how I start them. So hold on a second. So basically what you see here is I, this is a, a lot of time when I'm painting, I have a, you know, like a panel. This is a panel board um, that was taken from out of a frame I got from the Goodwill. And so I took the panel out. I used the frame for something else and I used the panel to paint on. And sometimes I'll paint on the panels and I'll put them back in, but I also use them as palettes as I'm painting or I just use them to clean my brushes off as I'm doing a piece of artwork. So I was doing a piece of artwork and I just was taking, cleaning my brush before I put it in the water to wipe it off. I would always wipe it on here. And so this is how these images start with this. And they also start this way here. This is where I had paint on two panels, stuck them together and then pulled them apart. And you can see how it pulled some of the paper off and it starts really rough. And so once I get it like this, or very colorful the way you saw it. So this is the other way. You got the colorful way, and then you have this way. Then I start to, this is one where I started to carve out images, but I got a little ahead of myself. I need to show you this one first. So you can see I start to, I take the chalk and start to put the figures in, and then I, I'm um, rather soft pastel, and then, I start to create this image using the soft pastel. And so you can see how these, this one is using a little bit of white acrylic paint with the soft pastels and the oil pastel. And so I start carving out the images like this. So after I've carved them out, this is the next step process I go through is putting the different paints in, the collage work starting to create backgrounds. Again, these are only about, you know, 75% done. And then you can see here, this is further along. And you can see, see how they're all coming out. And this is further along. And this is further along. So <clears throat> they're all Again, anywhere from, oh, some of them are like 25% done up to uh, maybe 60, 70% done. And uh, cause I have so much more I'm gonna add into each piece. And you gotta see some of the bigger ones. Some are in oil and some of those will get done with oil painting as well. So I hope you enjoy this little demo I'm gonna do stuff and uh, much love. Okay, 
We have some oil pastel sticks here. Uh, right next to that, we have some soft pastel, some crayon, some chalk, soft pastel, illustration markers, acrylic pens, gel pens. Obviously, we have the H2O, very necessary, and the coffee. <laughs> Snuck that in there. And then over here on this table here, we have a bunch of different size brushes, scissors, some pre-mixed colors I've done already, some gel medium, palette knives, and just more paint here. As you can see, there's a kind of a large area I'm working in. I have two stations here as well where I can paint on these two uh, campuses here. Always have my mannequin around here too. It's changed every season. Um, then there's a bunch of collage material here, fabric, paper, blow dryer. Uh, I like to kind of work kind of quickly, so sometimes I'm using the blow dryer to get things dried up pretty quick. Took a sip of my coffee. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you see me here, I'm actually sketching out the images. So from the abstracted form I had there, I decide on what images I like to bring forth. And uh, then I'll come over with uh, some soft pastel and start to outline the images and uh, start to kind of outline the sky. As you can see, the figures are starting to come in view right now. And this is all that's going to be going over with paint or oil paint, acrylic paint, or uh, uh, oil pastel. Uh, so right now I'm going over these pieces, like the actual bodies, the legs, oil pastel. This series right here, they have these little, little pointed feet. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's uh, something I just sit and mess around with one day and decided to come up with these figures. I'm always taking and, <coughs> excuse me, cleaning my brush on a either a canvas or a panel. Then I'll create some something off that this time i put a mat board around there because this one will be inside a frame it'll be matted so i kind of threw out the lines where the mat border is going to be and uh again i'm sketching out the images as you can see here sometimes i use oil pastel to sketch out the outline images and then sometimes just regular chalk or soft pastel uh right now i'm filling inside the legs i'm actually using uh, soft pastel um, with the uh, body and everything here. And then a little bit of oil pastel in a couple of spots. But most of that is the uh, soft pastel, which is what I'm doing. Kind of like the sky area. And the same thing here, the soft pastel down here at the bottom. So I'll you know, put the map board back around here. Just look at it. Now I'm working with right here. You see I'm pulling from the right where there's the oil pastel. And I'm flipping through, seeing the next one I want to do. There's a bunch of them here. And I work pretty fast. Uh, what I try to do is I'll sit down for, let's say, I'll say three hours I have paint. I'll set a timer. And then at the end of that three hours, whatever I did in that three hours, uh, you know, that's just what I was able to get done in that three hours. And, uh, you know, I set the timer. When it goes off, then I stop. But until then, I just continue to work. And I find I get a lot more done. That way, I'm committed to those three hours. And uh, I, you know, just disconnect from the world. Um, you see right here on my website, KJL Art Sanctuary, please. You know, you have the opportunity, log into my website, check it out. Uh, on this particular one, after I sketched that, I'm actually using some acrylic paint right now. And... Uh, just putting on every one, and this uh, particular one is going to have on white. white. Not sure what I want to do with the rest of the scene, but here I go again, sketching out another, uh, just drawing out where all the images are going to go in this year. And again, uh, this one is one of those ones where they stuck together and you pull it off and it pulls off part of the paper, so it's got a little bit more texture to it. Most likely, we'll come over this with oil paint over one of uh, these that were, that were like peeled off and stuck to each other uh, because sometimes when I do the colors I'll just have paint on both pieces of 
panel board and then I'll just push them together and step on it. And then our sons will just pull it right up and then colors are the way they are. But sometimes I let it them stay for a while, start to stick a little bit and then pull it apart. And that way paper will get shared between the two. They'll tear you know, each other apart essentially <laughs> and take some from each other. Kind of give and a take, I guess. So here I am again, and um, I'm putting some oil pastel on. I'm definitely going to do this one in oil. I started putting a lot of heavy oil pastel. So here's another one. Drawing it out. And this looks like this is going to be like some little ballerina. And uh, uh, looks like there will be some people over on this side. Uh, watching the ballerinas walk with them. I'm not sure what's going to be the end story. But here you have uh, another process. Now, I've already sketched this one out, already put the soft pastel on. Now I'm coming up with acrylic paint and uh, start to cut in with some acrylic paint. There's going to be multiple layers on all these. That's why it may look like I'm almost done on some of them, but there's going to be multiple layers. So I'm mixing that oil pastel with that. Uh, with that was actually chalk that was on there and the chalk on the top. So again, and it's not oil pastel, rather but acrylic paint with the uh, uh, chalk and up top, the same thing. That was a, a chalk that was up there. And uh, so I'm mixing it in. There's a little tree, there's a tree off to the side over here. I'm gonna have some you know, naked branches uh, going above them. And uh, as you can see, I'm cutting in. The area I had gone out with the uh, oil pastel and branch and with the acrylic paint. Uh, I'll go with the base of acrylic and come over top of uh, any oil paint. I'll come over top of acrylic. I don't want to put the uh, acrylic top oil paint. So as you can see, I've kind of changed everything here. This won't even stay this way. The colors and everything will change a lot. The ground will change multiple times. The sky will change multiple Times, and there'll be multiple layers on this. So you can see I've got to this point now. I'm kind of defining the trees a little bit more here. I'm doing this with a, some acrylic paint right now and uh, I'm going to finish it off with either oil pastel or uh, oil, straight oil paint uh, over the top of the tree. I want this one to have a lot of texture to it, this particular piece right here. So I'll just rapid fire between each one. I get in a mode. I'll either have some nice music on or maybe listening to a lecture or just whatever. But just whatever gets me kind of in the mood. Uh, nothing I really have to look at. It's just listening at this point. And then sometimes just in, in basic silence. Okay, so you can see here again, I'm coming up with a with a little bit more of a like a, a lime green on top of a like a, a kind of a had a hunt not like quite a hunter green it was kind of diluted a little bit like a malt more like a, a, a blue teal green i had you know like a moss green let me put it that way so this right here is more of like a kind of like a lime green has a little bit more of a yellow to it you can see here and that's another layer but it's going to change from this to I kind of find a little bit of horizon. Line. I don't know if there are buildings there. So now I'm taking a little bit of uh, the acrylic paint here. And uh, this one on the end, I'm showing you here at this point on how I take like paint. At this point, I had to stop. Uh, I had an appointment. I had to kind of stop. And uh, so I put the brush uh, painted on that uh, particular can uh, panel board, rather, you saw it there. So here I am back again. When I put the colors down, when I'm putting the uh, soft pastel and the chalk on it, I'm kind of working with my color palette at that point, even though it may not be those exact colors, but I'm starting to formulate the colors that are going to be uh, there, as well as the composition, um, figuring out the color scheme I'm going to have as well. And it's not even me trying to think about it hard. I just start pulling the colors and getting a feel for them, getting a feel for how it looks to my eye. And hopefully it resonates with someone else and, you know, they look at it, 
find some joy and pleasure in it. So, as you can see, I'm moving along here, still using the acrylic paint at this point. And uh, see, every layer I put on, it does a little something extra to it because I'm really starting to find the piece. And, and find the piece is not it's, it's the piece within the piece, P E A C E within the piece, P I E C E. So I love doing this. Yeah, so I'm going to do some work, have some workshops uh, that I'll be posting uh, for anyone that's interested in coming and creating one of these pieces here at the studio themselves. Uh, or any other uh, project here. I uh, also rent the studio out for paint parties, and, uh, birthday parties as well. So here's some gel medium I have. I kind of use that to kind of to glue the uh, collage pieces. As you think, I'm starting to put the collage work in uh, pieces of papers, colored papers, magazines, fabric, it's all being uh, put on now. I've got pieces for leather legs, for jacket. Uh, so there's a variety of spots I make uh, to a hat, whatever. But the, you can see the collage work on it now. And again, that's some gel medium I put there. It's a matte finish. And uh, so I've got all my pieces down there. On the far end, that's a piece of fabric on the legs there. Uh, the others are some heavy paper, some uh, different designs on it, uh, with three of the other ladies laying on the back right there. And uh, I put some hats on that. So as you can see, I'm working cutting around again the collage work I just put in with another layer of the, of the lime green down. And uh, now we're coming in here and I'm starting to put some little, uh, I don't even want to call it grass. I don't know if I want it to actually be grass. I just want it to be a bunch of colors. I guess it's going to be grass, but it's going to be like, when I get finished, it'll look more like, um, probably, like, how can I put it? Oh, pack an m and &M. So it'll probably look like a bunch of m and on the ground. But I have my first few, uh, couple of layers on here. And as you can see, I'm putting another green on here. I have like 100 green. And remember the line is not still wet. I put it down. So now I'm going to do this. So I got basically three different greens down here right now. I'm going to stop at that point. Let that dry before I start other colors. Probably be like a lot of lights at this point. Butterfly. I don't even know if I want to say this to someone here to express the time. I'm not sure. But uh you gotta give her a little bit of character. So you can see steady flow back and forth, and like I told you, things change, you can see, uh, how do you think this anymore, I haven't really worked with any of the faces of either of the figures, uh, so right now, I can seal it, I can and cut the seal cut the sky, and uh, it's not really like blue, as I was going, I knew that I would have to do it. But I wanted to get the more peachy color to be first, but it's not that kind of peach. So um, you probably see it more up close. You'll see that you see a little bit of the peach color coming through the spot. So at this point right here, I'm starting to do a little bit of embellishing on the clothing that you have on, put some accents and find things like, things like that. You see, I'm working out on them again. 
and then I come down here. Second code is press attack. Back to the press. Shape as well. I wonder if any of you ever uh, paint like this. Um, it's fun fixing the collage work uh, with the uh, paint. And uh, you see, I give that lady there with the gray dress there, giving her nice hat to work on her hair. As you can see, I'm starting to work with a little bit of black work. They all have black hair, so um, kind of finessing everyone's hair. Some of them I'll do, they'll have, it'll be similar ethnicity. Some will be multiple ethnicity. Some will have black hair, gray hair, red hair. So there's, there's 50 paintings in our series and they're all going to be from the same family, but different. So again, I'm working on the tree right now, putting a little bit more accents in. Uh, I think I put a yellow ochre uh, burnt sienna uh, and a, a brown uh, paint and tree <coughs> as I'm creating the tree. Then I'm going back to the figures, probably used a little bit of the uh, burnt sienna I had there, mixed with a little bit of black and some more accent work. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I have some in my throat and I don't have water right next to me. I have to finish this podcast. So we're toughing it out. The only water I have like, is buckets of water that are there. Uh, out. Um, yes. Again, some more accent work. Yes, and it's really fun doing these you know, and just thinking of all the different types of backgrounds I can put in. Uh, there's some really, really cool backgrounds. I have some already. Ready. And uh, especially the large ones. In fact, I can't wait to show the large ones. Uh, there's five of those. Um, they're really nice. So, it's like almost coming down to the line down in the video here. Like this. Uh, just when I get to this point, start being a little bit more slow motion, want a little bit more of the fine tune than I want for each one of the, the figures. It's a blessing to be able to do this. It's a blessing to be able to share it with you. It's a blessing that you hear you watch. I'm really grateful. I appreciate it. And please support my podcast channel. It's KJL Art Sanctuary Podcast. Uh, that's where we have artist interviews, uh, etc. Um, and then we have Art Kind of Podcast. And again, this is one of the pieces that is just about finished. And again, here's our website, KJLArtSanctuary.com. Our Kenneth podcast on YouTube. And please like, share, and subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. I'm grateful.